In the last few lectures, we have learned how to use a decorator on a class, on a property and also on an accessor. Now, we can also use decorators on methods and method parameters. So, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to use a decorator on a method and a method parameter. And when we create a decorator function for a method and for a method parameter, what are the parameters we receive for that decorator function? Let's go to VS Code. And here I have created a simple class called person. There I have a name property. I have a constructor where I'm initializing that name property. And I have this calculate age method, which is taking this date of birth parameter as a string value. Now what I want is on this date of birth parameter, I want to use a decorator. So we are going to create a decorator here. And a decorator is nothing but a function. Let's call it maybe param. You can name it anything. I just want to create a simple decorator, which we will use on the method parameter. And we will log some values from that decorator function. Okay. Now I want to use this param as the parameter decorator. So before this date of birth parameter, I want to use this param function as a decorator. So I'll use at symbol and after that, the name of the function. Now this decorator, we are using it on a parameter. And when we use a decorator function on a parameter, that decorator function expects three parameter values. The first parameter will be again the target and this target, it will be the prototype object or it will be a constructor function. So here I'm going to specify the type as any. Then the second parameter which we are going to receive for this param decorator is the parameter name on which we have used this function as a decorator. So I'm going to simply call it as param name. You can name it anything and it is going to be of type string. And the third parameter which we will receive for this decorator is the index of the parameter. So this parameter is at index zero for this calculate age function. So that value we are going to receive for the third parameter. So I'm going to call the third parameter as index and it is going to be of type number. All right. Now from this function, let's simply go ahead and let's log some messages. So first of all, let's log param decorator called. Then we are going to log the target. We are going to log method name. Sorry, it should be parameter name and not method name. And let's also log the index. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's open VS Code built-in terminal. And in here, let's go ahead and let's type tsc w. So basically we want to compile this TypeScript code. For that we are using this tsc command and we want to compile it in watch mode. So that every time we will do some changes in this file, it will automatically compile it. For that I have used this hyphen w flag. Okay, so the code has been compiled and you can see the log messages here. Param decorator called. Here if you see the target, the target is the prototype object. You can see the parameter name, calculate age. All right, so calculate age here, it is the method name. As you can see, it is the method name. So for the second parameter, for this param name, we are going to receive the name of the method for which we have added that parameter. Okay, here we are not going to receive the parameter name. Instead, we are going to receive the method name for which that parameter is there and on which we have added the decorator. And again, the third parameter is the index. So this date of birth parameter, it is at index zero. It is the first parameter of this method. So that we have received for this index parameter, as you can see. So this is a very simple decorator we have created, which we have used on a parameter. In the same way, let's also go ahead and let's create one more decorator, which we will use on this calculate age method. So for that, I'm again going to create a function. I'll simply call it as logger. And since we are creating a decorator, let's make the first letter in caps. And we want to use this logger function as a decorator on a method. So I want to use it on this calculate age method. So first we will use at symbol and then the name of the function, which we want to use as a decorator. All right. Now, 
when we create a decorator which we use on a method that decorator function is again going to receive three parameters the first parameter will be the target and again this target is going to be either the prototype object or the constructor function so the target will be prototype object when we are using that decorator on a instance method currently this calculate h is an instance method but this target it will be constructor function it will point to this class when we use this decorator on a static method okay so it can be either an object or a function so to keep things simple i'm going to specify the type as any then the second parameter will be the method name the method on which we have used that decorator that method name we are going to receive in this second parameter so i'll set the type as string and the third parameter is again going to be descriptor which is going to be of type property descriptor okay so these are the three parameters which we are going to receive for this decorator function and we are going to use it on a method so again let me go and let me write some console.log messages with this let's save the changes so that let me clear everything here and what i will also do is i'll remove this decorator from this parameter so that we will only see the logs from logger decorator which we are using on this method okay let's save the changes and you will see we have this log logger decorator called the target here is pointing to the prototype object because the method on which we have used this logger this logger decorator that is an instance method if we make this method as static method in that case this target object will point to this person class basically it will point to the function constructor which is creating this person class okay but i'm not going to show you that because in that case i'll have to make the changes here uh, what i'll do is i'll for now simply comment this i'll not call that calculated method and now if i save the changes you will see that now the target is pointing to this person class because now this calculate age method is a static method all right so in case of static method the target will point to the function constructor basically the class inside which we have defined that method and if the method on which we are using the decorator if that method is an instance method in that case this target it will point to the prototype object of that class all right let me also uncomment this line let's save the changes okay so target will either point to the prototype object or to the function constructor method name parameter is going to receive the name of the method on which we have used the decorator in this case calculate age and this third parameter the descriptor parameter it is going to receive an instance of property descriptor and in that property descriptor you can see the properties like configurable true or false enumerable which can be true or false then here you also have this value property and this value property is going to store the definition of the method on which we have used that decorator okay so it is very important this value property of this property descriptor it is going to store the definition of the method on which we have used the decorator then we also have this writable property and this prototype object so this is what this property descriptor contains and what we can do is in some cases where we use a method decorator from that method decorator function we basically modify one of these properties mostly we modify the value property and return that property descriptor with a new modified values and we will understand it with a practical example in one of the future lectures of this course for now i just wanted to show you that we can also use decorators on methods and method parameters and when we use it on a method what parameters we need to specify for the decorator function and when we use it on a method parameter what parameters we need to specify for that decorator function and i hope with these two examples now it is clear this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day